Hi, my name is Beck and I like plants. And today is not a vlog video update showing you where I'm at. It's actually to help some new players just like me with some little tips to hopefully help make the gameplay a little easier. So we're gonna recap what we talked about with our dailies. We're gonna talk about why we move our base around. We're gonna talk about what shield or share is as well as show you how to park a hunter. So if any of that stuff would be helpful for you or if you wanna pass this along to some other newer players that you know or even if you want to critique or let me know something I've missed or something that you'd like to see in a future video for newer players, hang out and let's talk about some Star Trek Fleet Command. Okay, so before we actually hop in, I just wanted to say a quick thank you again to a couple of members in my community for gifting me this awesome captain's log. It's got the USS Enterprise on it, it's a lined journal, and I have been using it to write my notes for Star Trek Fleet Command in it, including my videos and things like that. It was a great birthday gift and yeah, just been very helpful. I really don't wanna take up too much time, wanted to give a quick thank you, but we're gonna pop over into the game. Okay, so a couple months ago, I made a video that talked about my basic daily checklist for where I was at. Now, a couple things have been added to that checklist. Whenever you start getting into the 20s ops levels, other things start to open up, and I will do another checklist for those mid to late 20s as I'm going through, but I did wanna to touch on that and say I've done a video. Definitely start there if you're a brand new player. Hopefully somebody else can learn from them. So the first thing that I actually wanna talk about is talking about relocating your base and why. I've mentioned in other videos about relocating my base and I actually do it quite often, but in terms of relocating my base, why would I do that? Let me share that with you. So a couple of different things. My base right now is in my alliance's territory. Why would I want to leave my area, my system, if I basically have like some free protection? Well, I will tell you a couple of reasons. Number one, you don't want to travel a long distance for everything. Let's say you've got an event going on and um, you're running shorter on time, for example, I know like for me, my dailies just reset a couple hours ago, but if I was getting close to time on my dailies and I still needed to get all my swarms, look at how far I would need to travel. That's eight minutes. That's eight minutes travel time. Now, if I have nothing else going on in the day and I have all the time in the world, that travel distance might not bug me. So one reason to use a relocation token is to move closer to what you are doing, closer to the action. Oftentimes, I will move my base somewhere into one of these areas that I have seen. I know there's a lot of dark areas I've been working on slowly, making them not dark anymore, but just ignore that for now. I know someone's gonna point it out, so I had to say something. But I'll move my base a little bit closer just so that way I'm more centralized and it's more of like a two minute travel time than like a nine minute travel time. Another reason to use a relocation token would be to go raiding, right? One thing that I learned during my week of raids, I think in total I raided five bases, but something that I learned during that time was that uh, it's super helpful to be in the same system as the person that you're raiding. For example, there's somebody here that is not shielded. So if we wanted to raid this person, we would all relocate to the same system or, or nearby, you know, just so that way we could be grabbing our materials, going in and out, in and out, in and out. That way, whenever you are taking care of your ship and repairing it after it's been trying to crack the base or even whenever you're taking your haul away, being really close by is super helpful. So another reason to use your relocation token is for base rating and just being overall closer. And then the last reason that you'd wanna use a relocation token, at least what I have found, is there've been a couple times when I have been tracked by a couple, of, <laughs> a couple of people. For example, I have learned that there is a player that is notorious for hunting specifically 
in these systems here for players who have their shields down, taking them out while they're sleeping essentially, which is a very good strategy, don't get me wrong, but that's just what they're known for. And so what this person had done is they had bookmarked me. I didn't know that people could do that, but they could bookmark your location. That was something that I had learned in playing the game. They would still come back and find me whether it was in that system or just one system over. So then I just started bouncing around and like now I just move all over. Anyway, I wanted to give a couple tips about using relocation tokens. They come in great use for those reasons. To each their own, I just felt like that was a helpful thing to share. Secondly, which goes along with that since I briefly touched on base rating, you guys may have heard the term shield or share a lot. In fact, when I first started playing Star Trek Fleet Command, that was like the number one tagline people said to me, shield or share, shield or share. But nobody for the longest time told me what that meant. I learned, I mean, in my first week of playing what it meant because I, I asked somebody, what does that actually mean? But shield or share, you've heard that a lot. That's exactly what it means. Shield your base or be ready to share your resources. That That's what it is in a nutshell. A very large part of this game, maybe even the biggest part of this game is raiding. And I was in with my alliance and basically we were just popping around and looking to see how many people had their shields down overnight. As a person who had her base drained last week, it was super helpful for me. So I didn't feel as bad. In fact, I low key kind of enjoyed it. I felt a little evil, but it's fine. Shield your base or share your resources. Another thing that I'm gonna do is, in fact, I'm going to relocate my base really quickly. So that way I can show you guys the last thing on the list today, which is parking a hunter. I'm gonna go pick a system that I do like to frequent here and there whenever I am doing some, uh, some hunting. When you enter into a system that has declared you as basically like a like an enemy or a trespasser, a hunter spawns. And that hunter that spawns is usually a few levels higher than the system that you are in. So for example, I'm in a system that's, uh, this is 29. The hunter's probably gonna be about 32. And so that's significantly higher because the highest one in here is 30. When you see a system, you're going to see one level below and one level above. So you get three different level options for enemies. Now I'm getting into this system here and we're gonna see here in a second, a hostile a hunter's going to spawn. Let's see where he spawns. Lately, I've noticed that they've kind of been a little bit more random. Ah, uh, there he is. So, you always know because they kind of have a flashing red light. At the top, there's gonna be a thing that says you're trespassing and attack incoming whenever they actually are after you. As you can tell, these hunters move a lot slower than we do, so that gives us a lot of time to figure things out. There are a lot of different methods to do this, and the easiest way for me that I cannot fail is I usually pick a spot that's near slash kind of right behind where the hunter is. I'll hit go. Whenever I'm about 10 seconds out, I actually hit the recall button on my ship. And then after that, I hit stop my recall. The hunter still chases after that point that I was going to and then it's no longer aggroed. So now this hunter is not after me and I'm in the clear. The thing about the hunters is that they will always head towards wherever your end space is. Like they'll always go to wherever my space was that I had selected to go to. I have been told slash learned that as a safety thing, it's good to hit the recall button whenever you're about 10 to 20 seconds away from where that point is is i have seen it not work whenever it gets a little like closer to that 20 range i always do it at 10 seconds just for myself and then whenever i hit that recall button i also wait until about one to two seconds left to hit stop and cancel the recall simply just because i've seen it happen to where it doesn't work um, but that's just me so that's how you park a hunter it's one of the biggest game changers that i have found since playing this game. Now I can go around, I can hunt in peace, or if I was mining, I could mine in peace without being bothered. That's really all I had. I wanted to share a few like little tips for newer players that uh, maybe you didn't know, maybe you did, and hopefully it was helpful. That's really all I have for today. Like I said, I will be doing like 
another video that kind of talks about where I'm currently at in the game. I am working on some building projects, but you cannot see behind my head is that I'm currently building a ship. And I cannot wait to share that ship with all of you guys in my next video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, hitting that subscribe button, leaving a comment if this was helpful for you, or maybe you're gonna pass it to someone, or if you think that there's something that I should be covering in another tips video, I'd love to do that. I have a big list of videos that I wanna make now that I'm full time and I can do this. That's really all I have. The only other things are you can find me on Twitch on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. You can find all things Beck Likes Plants by going to my link tree. And now also my channel has some merch. Even if you're not like a straight up Twitch person, I promise you there's some merch in there that you might like. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.